multiplying out brackets in algebra just to remind you how to do this so this is a video about multiplying complex numbers let's just do a quick review of multiplying out brackets when we multiply out brackets we multiply everything in the bracket by what's outside so we have 3 by 2x which would be 6x and 3 by 4 would be 12 and 5 by 3x would be 15x and 5 by minus 2 would be minus 10 Minus 4x by 2x would be minus 8x squared, and minus 4 by 10 will be minus 40. Okay, so those hopefully are straightforward enough. Something's outside the bracket, you just multiply it by what's inside the bracket, and just be careful with the powers. When you come to a double bracket, if you remember, we've got to multiply everything in this bracket by everything in this bracket. So I like to use, yeah. Minus 40. Uh, oh, thank you. Minus 40x. Thanks, Alex. So that's minus 40x. Okay, so minus 4x by 2x is minus 8x squared, and minus 4x by 10 is minus 40x. That's great, thanks. So, let's look at this one then. We've got x by x will give me x squared, and x by 5 will give me 5x. 3 by x will give me 3x, and 3 by 5 will give me 15. And then we have x squared plus 8x plus 15, because these guys can go together. Okay, so hopefully coming back to you is how we multiply out brackets. Now, how does this look like when we come to multiply complex numbers? So if you remember yesterday, we talked about adding complex numbers, and we talked about multiplying by a real number. So when we multiply by a real number, a real number is just a number that doesn't have i. When we multiply by a real number, it's, quite, it's straightforward enough. So let's take one an example. Say we had... 10 multiplied by 3 plus 2i. So just jot down what you think that would give us. 10 multiplied by 3 plus 2i. So you've got to multiply everything inside the bracket by what's outside the bracket. And there's four others up there. If you want to give them a go, or three others, you can give those a go as well. I'll start to work through the earlier ones in a moment. So remember, you're multiplying everything inside the bracket by what's outside the bracket. And then you've also got this fact that you know that i squared is minus 1. And that's going to be very important in a moment. But we'll just take it easy. We'll start off nice and gently and see where we, we get to. So... We have 10, 10 by 3 is 30, and 10 by 2i is 20i. So if you've got 30 plus 2i for the first one, that's perfect. For the second one here, minus 5 by 8 is minus 40, and minus 5 by minus 4i is plus 20i squared. Sorry, plus 20i. Okay, so minus by a minus is a plus, and 5 by 4 is 20, and it's 20i. So we've got minus 40 plus 20i. So those two shouldn't cause you any trouble. It's just that instead of an x, we've got an i. Now, this is where the fun starts. So what we've got is 3i by 2i plus 4. So 3i by 2i is 6i squared. And 3i by 4 is 12i. Now, hopefully you got that. And some of you may even have been able to simplify that further. Because what did you notice? What's 6i squared? 6 times minus 1. 6 times minus 1, very good. So it's minus 6. So 6i squared is minus 6 plus 12i. So this is, the, this is the key difference. When we're multiplying complex numbers, we'll often end up with i squareds. When we end up with i squareds, then that means that we're going to have a minus 1 in there. Okay? Let's look at the next one. 5i by 3i is going to give me 15i squared. 
and 5i by 2 is going to give me 10i. So the 10i is just going to stay as it is. But 5i by 3i gave me 15i squared. So what am I going to write instead of 15i squared? Minus 15. Very good. That's the key difference. If you can multiply algebra brackets and you can work out that, minus, that i squared is minus 1, then this is going to be easy. Okay, let's do a couple more together. I'll put them up here. I'll give you a minute or two to try them, and then I'll work them through, and then I'll put you on the, the work in the textbook. So um, here's a couple more. Let's go with 6i by um, 10 plus 2i. 6 by, 6 I by 10 plus 2i. Let's take that as the first one. The second one, um, minus 7i by 4i plus 3. And third one, we'll do 2i by 8 minus 6i. And then the fourth one, we'll do a nice nasty one for the fourth one. Okay, so try those four. See how you get on. And I'll write up the page number while... Now, I'm just actually going to zoom out a bit here, so you, know, you can't actually see that example from before. So listen, I'll put an example here just beside it in case it helps, in case you're stuck. So... Um, There's an example at the side of the screen if you're looking for an example, and I'll put the page number for the exercise. And don't worry, some of you, some of you um, will, will fly into this really quickly, which is great. Others of you will take longer, and that's fine. We've got, we've got a couple of classes to spend on this. So it's just getting, getting it sorted at some stage over the next few classes. So once you've tried those four, I'm going to do them on the screen in a moment. There's page number, page 227, questions 5 and 6. So once you've done that, um, and Fiona, I'm sure you don't have your textbook at home, so I'm just going to upload the photographs, sorry, the, this page, the questions from the book into um, our team. I'll just put it in our chat, actually. He's online, yeah. Yeah.
Um, so I can't work out how to load that up just for a second, Fionn, so I'll do it. I'll do it in a moment. So here we are. I'm going to work these through. So I've got 6i and 10 is 60i. 6i times 2i is 12i squared. So that's going to be the same as 60i minus 12. Now, Elodie was just asking, should the real number come first and then the complex number? And yeah, we should really, as a rule, always put the real part first and then the imaginary part. So that's going to be minus 12 plus 60i. The second one is going to be minus 7i by 4i is minus 28i squared and minus 7i by 3 is minus 21i. So don't forget i squared is minus 1. So minus 28 becomes plus 28 minus 21i. 2i by 8 is 16i. And 2i by minus 6i is minus 12i squared. But i squared is minus 1, so that becomes plus 12. So that's going to be 12 plus 16i. And now the fun. Okay, now the, the harder one. So let's just take this slowly. We have 2 by 1 is 2. 2 by 5i is 10i. 3i by 1 is 3i, and 3i by 5i is 15i squared. So let's go through that again. 2 by 1 is 2, 2 by 5i is 10i, 3i by 1 is 3i, and 3i by 5i is 15i squared. So, so far, so good. Now, that's 2. 10i and 3i is 13i because they're both just i, plus 15i squared, remember I can change that, that becomes minus 15. And now to finish up, I'm going to put my numbers, my real numbers, because this one, when it was i squared, it looked like an imaginary number. But once I deal with the i squared and make that minus 1, it becomes a real number. That's kind of a bit confusing, I think. So that's real now, and that's real, and that's imaginary. So I can have 2 minus 15 is minus 13, plus 13i. So I'll come wander around the class now in a second, see how you get on. Um, anybody want to ask me anything about those? Okay, so the page number is 227. And the questions that I want you to do is to go straight to five and six, because the other ones we'll come back to. But I think actually the way that we're working on these type of examples, it would be good to practice this type of example. So question five and six on page 227 are like that. Okay. So Fiona, I'm just going to send you a picture of that in our chat. Okay, so I'm just going to stop presenting for a minute. Um, I'm going to stop this this recording.